one guy that people are talking about. They think it's it would be a good fit for the Padres. I don't think this would be the best for the Padres to go get this guy. And that is Chad Pinder. He's a free agent. He played under Bob Melvin in Oakland, and so I understand fans making that connection. Maybe some A's fans want to make that connection as well. Um, they just they, they see it as a fit, and I don't blame them because of, you know, he plays left, need of an outfielder, another outfielder, someone that can start games, that has major league experience, blah, 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 the, the Melvin experience, uh, the Melvin connection but if you look at his baseball savant it is bad and I think these when you look at numbers of someone like Chad Pinder I don't want to overvalue those basic stats if you go on like baseball reference or fan graphs right what I want to do is go to his baseball savant because he's not someone that I view as like this must-have guy so if his stats are good, well, I want to dig deeper to it, into that, if that makes sense. Average exit velocity, 22nd percentile. That's poor, according to Baseball Savant. Um, his walk percentage, 2nd percentile. He doesn't walk. His sprint, sp- his sprint speed is bad, 19th percentile. His uh, strikeout percentage, 5th percentile. Outfield jump. 8th percentile, all of these are poor. Outs above average, poor, 5th percentile. Um, That's not what I want in a guy that could be the starting left fielder on opening day. So I'm not that into him. Um, This was his 2022 rankings. So I don't want to make it seem like this is the, the guy that he's been his whole career, but I don't know a whole lot about Chad Pinder, and so I'm just looking at what he did this past year, and it didn't, it wasn't that great. He doesn't run. If you look at his average exit velocity, 87, I mean, it's not terrible, uh, but he strikes out a ton. Over 30%, he walks less than 4% of the time. Like, that is not Jerks and Profar. Like, that's almost the opposite, right? Profar, great at bats. Um, he's willing to walk. He doesn't strike out over 30% of the time. If I want a fourth outfielder or someone that, I want that guy to be able to, you know, pinch hit sometimes. So, Chad Pinder is a no for me. If you look at Profar's numbers compared to Pinder, I mean, they're better. I know Profar is the better player, and. You might have to overpay for him, but I want someone like Profar. He strikes out half the time that Pinder does, right? Pinder over 30%. Profar was 15-7, 2022. 15.8% of the time, 2021. 13.9 in the short 2020. He walks over 11% of the time. Pinder is a little over three. You know, Uh, I'd rather have the Profar type guy than the Chad Pinder type guy if that makes sense. So for me, it's a no on Chad Pinder. Some people might like him. They see the connection. But for me, that's a no. Uh, 